I posted something on Instagram this morning. Let me read it to y'all. I posted something on Instagram this morning. Actually, I posted it to Twitter. It says, as a 41-year-old man with a wife, daughter, two mothers to take care of, both my mother and my wife's mother, um, and employees that depend on me, miss me with that beef shit. Miss me with that beef shit. If it ain't about a bag, I'm good. Grown men out here creating problems for themselves like they still in middle school. I'm praying for y'all, though. I wrote that on Inst- uh, on Twitter, and then I screenshotted it, and I threw it on Instagram today. And let me tell you why I put that out there, right? I put that out there because it's important for y'all to understand that if it ain't about a motherfucking bag, I don't care what the hell is happening out here in these streets. I am a 41-year-old man that every single day I am grinding, I am hustling, I'm trying to understand what people are doing well and successful so that I can better understand how I can take the good things from people and leave all of the bullshit at the door. I am so focused, I am so not distracted by what the fuck is going on out here. If it ain't about the content that people is putting out there, I don't give a fuck about what people is talking about. I could care less. I genuinely could care less. I am all, all 100% about that hustle and about that grind. If it ain't about a bag, it don't mean shit. Let me read to you a, a, a text message that my wife sent to me last night. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to just read this really quick, really quickly. She sent me so much junk. She said. She said, and this was at 1139 last night um, towards the end of the live stream that I was doing on the Anton Daniels channel. She says, I just took my shower and got in. And got in the bed from being up since 5 a.m. this morning. She had to get up early because I took her and my daughter over to the to the airport so that they can catch the flight and they down there in Florida having a good time. Because my goal is to always, always make sure that I'm adding value into people's lives and all of the people around me are living in bliss, right? She says, I took my shower and I got in the bed from being up since 5 a.m. this morning. I have found a new I have a newfound respect for you. She says, I have a newfound respect for you. This is for my wife that I've been married to for the last 19 years. She said, I got a newfound respect for you. Not sure how you do this every day. Not sure how you do this every day. She said, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all that you do and for affording me and our daughter the luxury of not having to do this every day. I love you. Good night. I don't have time for no bullshit. I don't have no time for the bullshit at all. Zero. Donut. I'm so focused on trying to understand how I can level up and do better and be greater and add more value into people's lives and trying to figure out how I can do more live streams for the Patreon members and do all of that good shit. I'm so busy trying to figure out how I can add bags to the people's lives that depend on me every single fucking day. For the people that work for me, I'm trying to figure out how to make them more money trying to figure out how I can get a bigger and better place for my both of my moms on both my side and my mom's side. I don't give a fuck about none of this bullshit. This mess, as a 41-year-old man, this is what I'm asking y'all. And let me just go ahead and get into the show. I'm going to be reading Super Chat shortly. I'm going to be reading Super Chat shortly.
We are in the fight of our lives every single day. When I wake up in the morning and I do a self-check, make sure y'all hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. When I wake up in the morning and I do a self-check, right, I'm up at roughly 4.30, 4.45 every single day. I'm going to be reading the Super Chat shortly. I'm up at 4.30, 4.45 every single day. When y'all see me live stream at night, when I live streamed last night, When I live streamed last night and I got done and it was after 12, I went, got in the shower, brushed my teeth, laid down. I was back up within three, three and a half hours. I was back up within three and a half hours. I'm back in the studio before six o'clock. Before 6 a.m. hit, I am back down here in the studio and we working. And see, you think that you think that the world is going to have forgiveness on you. Today's episode is called The Art of War. And the reason why it's called The Art of War, yes, I get up every single day at the same time. Monday through Sunday, I never change the time that I give up. I get up. Every single day, Monday through Sunday, I do not change the time that I get up. I get up the exact same time every day. And the name of this episode is called The Art of War. And you know why it's called The Art of War? It's not so that you can fight your enemies. It's so that you can fight the right fight and understand exactly the tools that you need in order to be successful and win the battle. You want to fight of your life. The feds just raise rates again. They moving everything over from a benefit economy into a gig economy. Women have... Men competing for their men now. Your kids are going to have to face an unrealized enemy that they don't even know exists yet, but they've been protected and covered their entire lives so that we can teach them how to be able to combat what it is that they're going to be facing in the future. You trying to level up. You trying to not depend on the federal government in order for your social... You don't even know if Social Security is going to be around by the end of your time. We, we so busy fighting each other. We so busy competing against each other in the wrong things. Now, I'm okay with competition because competition brings out the best in us. If you good at what it is that you do and I'm paying attention to you, I'm like, okay, that inspires me. Not make me jealous. Not make me hate you. It inspires me. Because now we drawing off each other's strength. Now it's strength to strength in order for us to continue to be successful. See, I didn't understand this. And this is the reason why I live my life like an open book. I didn't understand this when I was younger. And I needed that negative energy in order to motivate me to continue to be successful. I drew off the negativity of people in order to motivate myself to beat them. So when somebody told me, yeah, you can't do this. Or when they hated on me or whatever. And it carried over. It carried over into my 30s and almost into my 40s until one day I realized, okay, it's another shift. It's another gear. It's another space that I'm supposed to be in, and I'm not going to be able to get to the next, next level unless I truly divest myself from that negative bullshit and start to embrace who it is that I am truly to be in order to then give it over to my people. Don't let these niggas bait you into this dumb shit. They mad at them. They not mad at you. They see you and they see you as a winner. And so they can't do nothing to create for themselves. And as a result, it bothers them. Every other person that I talk to on a coaching call, they say, Anton, when I first met you, I despised you. And then they came back to the front of the congregation six months later and they sitting there with me on a coaching call and I'm pouring into their fucking life. Everybody that I have a coaching call with, they can't at any point say that Anton did not give them more value than what they expected when they got on that call. And they told me, and they'll admit to me, and they said, the reason why I didn't like you is because you were so, so gung-ho and you were so confident in who the fuck you are and couldn't nobody tell you anything. And, and it wasn't you, it was me, because you started putting the mirror up to me and I didn't like what it is that I saw.
we going to stay focused. I declared earlier in this month when my mentor made me write down everybody that I thought that I even could possibly have a problem with and reached out to him, that I was going to go forward in truth with even more transparency, looking to add value into people's lives and not getting distracted by the bullshit. Let me tell you the secret to war. Let me tell you the secret to war is patience. It's patience. When people send you stuff or when somebody talk negatively about you or when you are winning in life and then the devil then tries to throw something to distract you from what it is that you got going on, it could be your brother, your sister, it could be a situation that happens in your life. Patience. Don't react immediately. Laugh at that shit. Sit on it. Wake up the next morning and then do whatever it is that you got to do. For me, it's to continue to move in positivity. I'm a 41-year-old man. I'm not in high school anymore. The time to crash out, if I was ever going to crash out, was before I ever became successful and rich as fuck. Rich as fuck. Nobody shows the receipts that I got. Nobody has been more transparent. Nobody has showed you their brokerage account. Nobody has showed you their bank accounts. Nobody has showed you their spending. Nobody has showed you their real estate. Nobody has showed you every single aspect of their life. Every single aspect of their life. You don't know these niggas' brothers and mothers and daughters. You don't know where these niggas really come from. They friends and family ain't in the chat. People that went to high school with these niggas and college with these niggas ain't in their chat saying that, yeah, Anton been this way since the very beginning of time. You don't know who these niggas is. They selling you a lifestyle. They selling you a lifestyle. I'm selling you on what's the best for you. They selling you a lifestyle. I'm selling you on what's the best for you. We all selling something. We just got to figure out what's inside of that package. What I'm telling you is you got some bigger things to worry about than the bullshit that you're being distracted with. The government is distracting you. The government is distracting you. Your friends is distracting you. All of this dumb shit is distracting you. Stay focused because you in a war. They want everything. They want your children. They want your lifestyle. They want to take what's, a, what's rightfully yours and distract you from it while they extract everything from under you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just keep living. Keep rocking. You know how you know that you're winning? And we're going to get into the show. I'm going to read the Super Chats. You know how you know you're winning? Because they watch you. You don't watch them. They watch you. I don't have time to watch them. I'm so focused on building. I'm, in the, I'm, in, I'm up at 4.30 in the morning every day. Sometimes I don't go to bed till 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm so focused on fucking running this shit up. Let them watch you. Losers watch winners while winners keep winning. Let them watch you. Fuck it. Who cares? Keep doing what you do successfully. They watching you for a reason. You the main attraction. You the draw. When you walk in the room, everybody stop and say, oh, my God. Let them talk. Let them speculate. Let's run this shit up. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. Run that shit up. We love. We don't hate. Even when we getting on each other, we getting on each other in love because we want you to do better. Run that shit up. Fuck that shit. Don't get distracted. We too old. We too old for anything other than the things that's going to, if it ain't about a bag, listen, let's just, let's just summarize this shit up. If it ain't about a bag, we don't want to talk about it. If some way, somehow it doesn't add more value into our life, fuck it. Let's keep it moving. 